Can you save a bad beer by dry hopping it? I guess it depends on the beer and why it's bad and all of that. But today I think it might be possible. So <laughs> let's stop down saying and let's kick it. I'm Dr. Hans, this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and homebrew. I do stupid shit here on YouTube so you don't have to. I brewed a beer quite a while back and it's just been sitting here because actually I, I didn't really like it. It was supposed to be some sort of like mock lager, easy smash beer, Pilsner malt and Halletar Mittelfruer and fermented with quite yeast, but it did not get like the crisp lager taste to it. It was a little bit sweet and also I think it was a little bit too hoppy. Yes, I could be like swearing in church, homebrewers, but this was supposed to be crisp lager and it got quite a lemony flavor from that Halle Tower Mittefruer. It's not infected, it's not a bad beer, but it's not balanced and it's uh, not okay for me as a, a lager and I'm not really into sweet beers. Can we save this beer by dry hopping it? When I think about it, I might have some brewing footage for you.
has been sitting cold at about 8 degrees Celsius. And yes, the doctor will convert everything for you, so don't worry, into birds and stones, obviously. It was, it was just a salvaging thing, so I were a bit lazy and because uh, I don't want to dry up at 8 degrees Celsius because I wanted to try to get some bitterness from those hops also. So I wanted to raise up the temperature, but you have to be careful when you dry hop under pressure. I have a video on disaster and how and how not to do it. So go and check out that video after this one if you haven't seen that one already. So I open it up at 8 degrees Celsius and tossed in 100 grams of Amarillo and 100 grams of Simcoe. Closed it back up, perched the vessel and then I raised up the temperature. First I take temperature up slowly, around 15 Celsius, and then I raised up the temperature up to 25C. It is important, I think, not to dry hop cold. It is okay if you then bump up the temperature. I discuss all of that in my Diastil for Dummies video. I'm gonna link to that one also down below. After four days of dry hopping and two of them at 25C, I cold crash the beer again and let's give it a pour. Epic pour. There's a lot of aroma come out of this one, but let's have a look at the color. It is beautiful, bright yellow. We have a two finger, tight white fluffy head and a really nice lemony golden colored beer. Not golden, but lemony. Peach, tropical fruit, most like peach and mango I would say. So Hallets our meter Fruer in the boil in Amarillo and Simcoe for dry hopping. I thought I could play with that like lemon flavor that I had, it's adding some more hops to it. it smells really nice and it's quite cold, sitting at 6C now. Let's dive in. Cheers! Really fruity. I don't get like that sweetness anymore. So I definitely think I got more balanced beer now. Is it like the, the best American pale in the world? No, but if I would have bought this, I would have think this was a, a good spent money. So, but I don't think you can just throw a dry hop at every beer. If the beer is really bad, if it tastes bad, if it's like <sighs> infected or if it's overly bitter or anything, like that, if it's super weird, I, I wouldn't throw in like 200 grams of hops on that, just wasting money. But if, if it's bland, maybe you could also like revive an, an old beer by dry hopping. You want to, should we try that out? Maybe if we have a, an IPA that has been sitting extremely long and have lost the uh, some flavor, maybe you could try that. If you want to see that, let me hear down below. I don't have an old IPA. I will probably not. Or do I? Let me think about that. The recipe for, for this beer is already up in the Big Dr. Hans recipe book for my patrons to dig into. And thank you so much for helping out, supporting my channel by becoming a patron. The channel members will just buy me a beer or donate a PayPal, all links down below. I don't think I could keep on doing this without your support, so thank you. If you haven't checked out the Day Acetyl for Dummies video, go and check that video out because I talk a lot about dry hopping, why I wouldn't recommend dry hopping cold, and why I dry hop the way I do, and a lot of other stuff. So, cheers, see you in the next one. Dog Tons out. Hey, though, that's a lot of rambling. <laughs>